What's going on guys and welcome to Jedi Fallen Order, a game that has been requested on the channel a few times, uh, in fact, uh, and I thought why not do it now, like we're doing the whole variety content on the channel now, and I thought, you know, Jedi Survivor is around the corner on its delayed time of April 28th of this year, so two months away, and I thought why not get this game out of the way, like I've never managed to get around to playing it or completing it, and I thought why not do it as a series, so I'm going to try and get these out to you every day or every other day without further ado let's jump into this and if you want to see more of these please let me know in the comments uh and yeah without further ado let's do this all right Woo. That's some good visuals right now. Ooh. Gives me them Nordic vibes. Hopefully it's DMCA free and not going to... I'm not going to get copyright strike for this. There we are. Listen, I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. So that's us. Cal. You might recognize him. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. My cow. What's her score? That couldn't hurt. Huh? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right, we're in. You would have loved how games now go from video clips to gameplay very seamlessly. All right, we've got a clean UI. I'm kind of liking that. Obviously, I am playing on the PC, and you know me. I've got to give you the best quality I can. So make sure you're watching them on the best available quality you can watch. Oh, get a blanket, sit back, enjoy the journey that is going to be presented to us. So we're playing as Cal. You might recognize him from a lot of TV shows. Ooh. Ship breaking hey, yard. A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. All right, let's go. You gotta love the sound effects in this, right? Star Wars for you. Lucas films. But yeah, you might recognize him from the, the shows like Gotham. He, he played the Joker. Look out. Up. Oh. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. We're gonna have to go around, right? Gonna have to find another way. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. See you there, pal. <laughs> See you there, pal. I don't know if he's in pal or cal or, or what, though. I seem to be locked right here. We can't move around just yet. I'm still looking up there. <laughs> Hello? Can we look around yet or what? What's going on? Oh. Well, I guess we're going down here. Yippee guy yay Depart this barge immediately. Oh. You are not approved trash. And trash? Just not approved trash. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to give it like a... Uh, a crash course on just jumping and moving around and just getting used to the controls a little bit whilst looking at these amazing vistas and the music. I don't know what you said. If I didn't have subtitles anyway. Just passing through. Okay, so we've got some form of climbing structure we can climb. Scrappers. 
So, what are we scrapping down the rebellion ships? Oh, where are we going? Up here? Bloody hell. Good to see you. Ooh. That's the idea. Obviously, with this type of game, it is going to be very... How do I put it? Scripted in some areas to give you that movie magic, right? Hidden loading screens. I go about this all the time. These are very clever in games. Squeezing through like this. Sounds Only thing like I need to do is just hold W right now. Just passing through, guys. And this is loading no the next area. A lot of developers do this now. It's very clever and keeps you engaged within the game instead of going to a loading screen. Ooh. Hey, Cal. I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. Z to drop down. Ooh, easy tiger. I'm looking forward to jumping into the fights and the combat and stuff. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? <laughs> How'd you get here? How did you get here? Oh. I nearly forgot to press E there to quickly grab hold of that. I love this. Woohoo! That's a lot of fun. Look, the ship cutter is here. There it goes. Jesus. Hey, we get yep, good out. We're gonna see the walkers down there as well and Beautiful. So yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping into this. Like I said, let me know what you guys think of this. If this video, you know, gets some decent like ratings and you guys enjoy this, I'll definitely throw out some more and I'll, I'll know that you're interested in this second game as well. So like I said, let me know what you think. Ooh. Oh, he's there. Hello. What's this guy called? Like Prof or Praf or something? I love the clean UI. There's a lot of games that clutter the UI and it's a little bit intrusive. Alright, clamp secured. Whoa. You okay? Still here. Give me a fright there, pal. Done. Hang on. I got this. We're done. Get out up here. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. What a Ooh. score! It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this thing's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Whoever flew this went down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. A real tragedy. Now, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. I wonder if that's his. Yeah, here we are scrapping these ships from the war just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us free like this, it'll be your ticket off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <laughs> Eventually. You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. <laughs> oh. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What is that? Help me! Help me! Help me! 
Ooh. Oh boy. The tentacles. You okay? Cal! I can't climb up! Rock! Just hang on! And send me! No, don't let go! Using the force. We gotta move. Come on. Hell happened. What was that back there? Was that you? What, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen the I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Bro, the bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. That probably got picked up uh, on some senses or something, you know. He's, he's probably the... One of the last ones. You holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel. I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so, I know the risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place, it's not safe. up on the uh, Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, bro. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Kel. <sighs> He's doing one. Leaving the place. I think he knows that because he used the force there, that they're going to detect it or something, you know? By the way, let me know what you think of the, the new audio quality. Obviously, I've got a different mic. Change the equalizer settings and everything. But it's a bit, low, a bit more cleaner to the ears. But you've got to love the, uh, the world of Star Wars, right? The imagination behind it. And... Oh, something's going to happen here. What's he up to? But old prof. Prof, wait up. You mean sus, prof? You're bleeding, bloody sus. Where are you going? Maybe he's working with them. Um, hello? Whoa. Okay, we're definitely dreaming then.
Oh oh. Jesus. Apprentice, mark well and listen. Master. Trust only in the force. Yep, definitely a dream. Got a little worried that I'm not going to lie to you. Stopped. Yeah, something's going on. Ooh. Everybody up. Identification ready. Move out and line up. Probably just another contraband inspection. Okay, so this is all based on the new generation of Star Wars, right? Oof. He's a big boy. That'll be a boss fight. We'll probably have to fight later or something. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. Uh oh. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you are. <laughs> no! Yes! Look at this, a lightsaber. I found the Jedi. Oh, okay, this is definitely gameplay. Combat training, combat time. <laughs> Oh. So if you tap it just in time before the uh, the beam comes at you, you, you're good. Oh, Woo! boy! Gotta keep moving.
target lock switch targets. That's how I prepare. That's how you prepare for death. Did you hear that too? It's the Jedi. <laughs> Hold to block most enemy attacks. Ooh, I'm so glad there's kill cam things like that. Your block stamina decreases. Got it. Oh. So that gets the cinematic kill. If you get a a perfect counter attack. Okay, so parrying. Use the force to control objects with the blue. Ooh. Can I climb this? Oh. So we've got like Z to roll, double tap it. No, Z to step, double tap to um, roll. Get to the front, stop the train. But then you gotta make sure there's so there's loads of different combos we've got to. Oh no! Need cover. You gotta move in between first. Now. DL. Whoa, this is bad. The only way is up. Then outside. <laughs> the only way is up, baby. Wait, how do I switch here? Hello? We're here to help! Who are you? No time! Keep moving! We'll pick you up when we can! Siri. 
Or Sari. A big boy. Has to be. Oh, maybe not. I thought something was jumping through the ceiling. Is that the Falcon? What is that? Oh, no. Bloody hell. Oh, God. That was smooth. That was smooth, though. I'm not gonna lie. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who's your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? forever okay so when it goes red like that we've got to i don't like how it's zed i don't think i like zed i might have to change that Yeah, I don't like it on Zed. Definitely don't like it on Zed. Keeping your distance. Yeah, I definitely need to run, get rid of the um, the Z. Definitely wasn't a fan of that. Stop shooting your spoon.
Bloody hell. Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. What an intro to a game. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Sir Junda. And this is my captain, Priest Ritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. <laughs> so, who are you? Cal. Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway? That's gratitude for you. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. Mm -hmm. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. I wonder if this is going to be a trilogy game. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? Time to rebuild. So I'm all you've got. Captain, set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. She's in a lot of games. She has very unique eyes. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. She has very unique eyes. But what a way to start a game. Like, oh boy. Find your destiny. You were talking in your sleep. Weirdo. Oh, we get to move around the ship? Oh, this is cool. Is this going to be like our little headquarters? Where we could do upgrades and... Ooh. And stuffs. Wait, what did he just do? Ooh. That's all. I wrote it. Years ago, you touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Huh? Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Gerald DePaul. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but... My connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. You're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. Where are we going? That's good. That's that's the next question I want to ask. Whoa. 
Borgano. This is Borgano. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. Huh? May the force be with you. We get to explore this place now. I don't know if this is more linear, linear slash open world or what, but... Um... Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here... I don't know. Oh, hello. So I've got to do look around for... I'll find a way down first, right? What's this? Looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Or is this like a safe spot? Save points. Save points are located throughout Cal's journey. Make sure to interact with them to save your progress. But make sure I do that. Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points to acquire new skills. Oh, you have enough skill points to learn new skills. Open the skill tree to use them. Oh, I don't know how big this is going to be. Spend skill points to learn the overhead slash. Spend your skill point. So it doesn't tell you what to use. I guess it just goes into your combo. It says F here. I don't know if that's the uh, uh, the ability to use. So let's learn that. Oh, we've got multiple things to do as well. Where's our total skill points? Oh, at the bottom here. So we have zero left. Let's look at that later on once we... Uh... Once we have some more skill points. Oh, hello. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> hey, one. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Is this going to be our little companion? Did you just slice that? Thanks. Wait. Ah, okay. BD one. Seer mentioned. Whoa. I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. I, I don't care about the the structure. I don't know the big ass creature. That was over to our left. Main objective: reach the vault. The current objective can always be seen on BD one's hollow map. Nice. We can zoom in, zoom out. Try experimenting with the hollow map controls. Move up and down. Rotate, zoom, yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's this as well. All right. So... Oh, I'm guessing there are enemies over there. Well, maybe I can't. Gotta get across this gap somehow. Is it fine? Whoop! Oh, 
We actually use him as... How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? Oh, we can meditate here as well. Okay. Door is locked from the other side. Okay, so it does seem like we've got a little bit of puzzles going on and everything. And I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. What is this place? Whoa. Okay, I guess I can't jump onto that. Wait, maybe I can. Maybe I just failed. Ooh. Sense echo. One force essence requires. Collect two more to increase maximum force. Still feel the excitement. Secret discovered. Oh, beautiful. Nice. So at least I won't fall into these anymore. Wait, so maybe I do have to... Wait. Ah, uh, maybe I've got to just got to jump across here. Oh, can you climb up? Yeah. How do I get over there? I would think that, unlike shimmy. No. Maybe I've got to go around. I might have to go around. What do you think? What about if I jump up here? And then jump to this one. This is beautiful. Oh, maybe not. Unless I go to the top there, drop down. Yeah, that's that's risky. Oh, that's cool. Using your lightsaber to light it. It makes sense, doesn't it? That thing looks like it smells worse than grease. Whoa. Yeah, I don't like Zed. I need to change Zed. I need to change it right now. Do not like that. Um, where is it going to be under? Controls. Edit controls. Um, where's Z? Z. I want that to be... Um, what do I want it to be? What's C? Is it anything double blade? Let's put that to caps lock. And then let's put that... Where was it? Z. Let's put that to C. Okay. That's a bit better. Okay, first death. He's... Bloody hell, did I come? <sighs> Damaging your... Wait, wait, wait. When you die, you lose all your XP gain since you're... Damaging the enemy who killed you will restore your last lost XP and will fill your life and force to them. Okay, so I've got to come back here now to get my XP back. Oh, that sucks. I don't. I think he was too powerful for us. But I don't know if we can revisit locations. Wait, so I'm literally back here. And, oh, okay. I need to meditate wherever possible then. Now I'm questioning. Did we get... The other stuff where the blade was.
So let's meditate here. Rest. So now we can spawn here, right? So is that blue thing down there? Wait, so they're still turned on. Doesn't look like it, does it? The blue thing's not shining anymore. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, so we have collected that. Yeah, but I don't think we can get over there. Somebody, well, somebody will tell me in the comments that I, can, yeah, I can. I'm just being a spoon. You know? Can't jump that. Okay. Noted. All right, let's go and see Mr. Todd. Because last time... I was fighting the con I was fighting the controls. This time might be different. But what under what he's guarding? Alright, big boy. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? I think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to leave this guy. I think he's way too strong for us. Bloody hell. Him. And, okay, we can do this. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. I believe. I've got to use the force. I have to use the force. To kill him. <laughs> that was just anticlimactic there. <laughs> okay. Alright. Attempt number three. Hell yeah, we use the force. <laughs> Ogdo Bogdo defeated. Nice. And it only took us three tries. It's three tries. It kind of made me understand a little bit more of the fighting, and you have to be a little bit more patient and a bit more observant. And obviously, locking onto him that time obviously helped a lot. Um, so, we got another sense. So I believe this is our second one. Oh no, this is life essence. Is it trying to defend its family? Ooh. Secret discovered. Okay, so there's not just the other one. 
There's multiple. Okay, so... So we do have a bit of free run where to go, but it is a very linear area, it seems. Like, we have... We can... We can... Um... Oh, the pole. <laughs> Just confused myself there. Okay, so it is confirmed. Oh. Right, let's save. <laughs> save that checkpoint. Get that done out the way. And let's see where BD1 wants to take us. Let's rest. Life and force have been restored. Nice. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Oh, cool. Oh. Hold on, B1. I'm coming. B1. Okay, so F is to um, slam. Oh. Like decapitated him. Is it? I can just charge through these like a bull. <laughs> oh. That was pretty brave. You okay? Oh. Oh, this guy's cute. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that way too much. Boop, beep. Vault. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Well, first we gotta figure Me out and him understand each other, you know. It's a bond. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. That's another one. Lived here use this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Data bank updated. Forced this echo larder. I have a feeling there's gonna be like little secrets everywhere. I'm we'll wanna try and grab them, right? But um wait a minute. Okay, he's, I, I, I like how he shows me the way. Kind of like that. Oh, electrical wires. It was supposed to happen. Yeah, I'm all right. It was supposed to happen. All right. I was a spoon. Oh. Healing stem. They're full of surprises. Huh. That's better. Okay. So in the right. bottom left, we've got two of them now. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hop on board. 
Okay, we can go through now. BD1. BD1 heals Cal with replenishable stim canisters. I've never known a forgetful droid. Nice. Can't argue with that. Okay, so... You can now access BD's holo map at any time. Okay, so that's if we want to get up here again. Good to know. Hey, a chest. I think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies. <laughs> Just jumped in there. What's that mean? Rumbled around. New emitter required. Enor Cordova. You can now change lightsaber parts on the workbenches throughout the galaxy and on the Mantis. Ooh. Okay. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Have a look around here, though, BD. Just in case there's anything hidden behind us. That's really big bugs. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's up, BD? I hear you going. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So obviously that's back to the ship. That looks a bit too far to jump, to be honest. There is a chest over there, though. I'm going to try it. I failed it. Okay, so now I'm back down here again. Wait. Oh, so at least I can climb back up the rope as well. Okay, so we can wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we, we was in there. It's good job I checked just in case. Just in case. Right, let's go where BD wanted us to go this way now, right? Them big ass statues over there. These things, like guardians. Great divide. Where we've been. Blocked available. Certain paths will be inaccessible to Cal until he passes something. Cue down, switch elevation between different areas of the map. Okay. So we're here. And we're going to be going down here. New objective added. There. Hollow map. Find another way. Got a legendary of locks. Save point unexplored. Player uh, location. Main objective. Needs. Where do I? Beepity bop? Am I, am I spooning? These look... They look climbable. I guess we don't go that way. Wait, we must do. Let's have a look at the map here. Oh, it's blocked. There's a red thing. Okay. So we have to go down here, apparently. Okay, I messed that drop thing up. All right, BD. Grab me some juicy supplies. Non bronco material acquired. Let's save. I don't think we've got a skill point. No, we don't have a skill point. So this is our level down here, and this is how close we are to getting a skill point. Noted. What is this? A memory? This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Oh. Now we've got a skill point. Oh, 
Okay, so skill tree. So let's have a deeper dive into what we could possibly learn here. So we've got force. Cal's maximum force is increased, or maximum health increased. Or we can go into Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the targets uh, instead. And I'll just hold F to do that. Dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over a target's head. Maybe let's go for a bit of health. I feel like the bit of extra health right now, especially early game, is good for us. Are we going? We are indeed. Oh, what are these? Oh, more of them slug things. Oh, God, is that another crab? So we know there is a food chain. Wait, hello? Oh, scan it. Ogdo. Tactical guide upgrade. Let's have a look at this. Severe the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Highly dangerous. Lightsaber resistant. The Ogdo is a highly threatening alpha predator at the top of the Bog Bogano food chain. This creature attacks with an ad adhesive tongue capable of reaching 8 meters in length that latches onto its prey, then pulls them into its jaws. This form of strike is particularly effective against morse foes. Due to its thick hide, it is able to resist a straight-on lightsaber attack. This is extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at target too close to them. Huh. Nice. Okay. I'll get a bit of info. Whoa! Easy, tiger. What do you see, BD? What? What's this? Can we do anything with this? We don't have uh, any other force abilities yet. Maybe we've got to do something with that. It's glowing red. Is it blocked right now? It is blocked. Okay. So I guess we don't go there. Maybe it's blocked because of a certain skill. Oh. Oh, scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it. Mew, the bog rat. Will burrow into the ground as a deception before attacking. Easy to parry, avoid being surrounded. So they work in packs. It's a pack animal, really. I don't want to read all of them just because it's going to be so many. Okay, there must be something we do with these walls. Actually, no, because there's vines here, right? So... Oh, there's a chest. Oh, the chest we can't grab. Oh, a save point. Uh, let's check over here real quick before we go over there. Okay, so that's a wall run, which is something we haven't learned. So maybe we do come back here later on. Or it is revisible, uh, revisitable, you know. Is that another save point up there? Okay, let's just rest. And let's move. So 
So we've got a vine wall there. But I don't think we can leap over to that. Enemy down there. What's this way? Oh, okay. Maybe we'll go and check the, the, what's down here first. What are you scanning? What's this? Powerfish. Powerfish. A powerfish is inhabit large bodies of water. Okay. Wait, I'm just going back up here. Hello? There we go. Yeah, we can't grab that. I feel like we need a double jump or something. I think we're limited to that. Let's check the map real quick. I don't know, actually. Maybe it is possible. I feel like these are scalable here. We just don't have the ability to do it. Hmm. Okay, let's not dwell on it. Is that them? No, it's not. Jesus. Wait. The quest is telling us this way. Unexplored. I don't think I was meant to grab onto that. I think we might have just glitched it. Just look, I can't get up here, right? I don't have like a double jump. Can you put your thing away? I'm just wondering if I can... Can I control where I drop here? Because if I can drop off the edge... Nope. Okay, I'm I'm confused. Obviously, I can't climb here, right? We've got to... Oh. New terrarium seaweed acquired. Okay, copy. All right, let's move. Okay, I'm just going to go through the water. Well. What's that? You're not scanning everything, don't you? Maybe I should have checked the water in the first place, but... See something in there? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh. What the? Try again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome Wall any run. obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Okay. Ah, so these walls are aimed at wall running. 
That's what they're aimed for. Think you can show me that shortcut again? So there's the one we gotta go on. Uh, I see how it is now. So that means in here. So that's, that's a long wall run, isn't it? Because like we can technically wall run this now, jump up here, and get out, right? So we can't obviously get up there because that's going to require a double... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Cool. <gasps> Which one's this one? Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Frustration. Someone lived here. Within, so okay, so it's like the it's like deck, like a cards kind of grab. So we can go across this. We can't do anything without leave or anything yet. Oh, all right then. Something we can use. New lightsaber switch acquired. Valor and wisdom. Dragon, though, look at that. I don't know if it's a dragon or just a massive, like, lizard. Aren't they kind of technically the similar things? Jesus. Okay, them working in packs is a little annoying. Bloody, I wonder if we can walk, we can go near that. Like go up to it and touch it. <laughs> I want to touch a dragon. Someone may camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A yeah. Binoc, they called it. A what? Traces of a camp used by someone excited to study a large creature that referred as the, the Binog. I wonder if that's what that big lizard thing is. Okay, so obviously that's a lift. Go around here. Little cheeky devils, aren't they? It's like they set me up for an ambush. Skill point acquired. Beautiful. We can't do that just yet, though. But we can scan these now. Can you slice and these are called splocks. Attacking large groups and able to contort. Evasive strikes, but easily killed. Yep. Oh, Scump Link must be repaired to operate this device. Imagine if we have to fight that. New lightsaber sleeve acquired. I like how you can press um, R. And you can just ask... You know, BD just how he is, you know. Hey, BD1. Bibbidi boop. <laughs> okay, so they're non hostile. And we are back here now, so. Wait, I feel like we need to wall run here, maybe. Like that. Here we go. Racy there. Oh, it's on. <laughs> I love that guy. He's kind of like a little pet. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay. You probably would have won. Probably. 
We are gonna do we are gonna meditate real quick before we go any further though, BD. Let's check the skill tree. We could, we do have another one. Maybe we, we we put this into the fighting now. We have this though. Cal's defense are improved, allowing him to take less block damage stamina, uh, block stamina damage from incoming attacks. I think we want to go to it. Let's let's get some attacks on this. So now we can dash forward. Hold F to dash forward, and if I jump as I'm doing it, I kind of bounce over them. I have to remember to rest when I'm in here as well, because if I go to just do the skill tree, knowing me, I won't even rest. I'll just leave it. All right, let's have a quick look around the surroundings before we do anything, BD. And then we touch this little crack in the wall, which I'm going to guess is going to give us a push ability or a pull ability to get that uh, bridge down. Everything okay, BD1? Oh, maybe not. Maybe bloody not. Where are we going? Amazing. Oh. Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for while now without any purpose just hiding no there's no way to live not for a jedi or a droid maybe seer was right maybe we're done hiding hey you want to meet some uh Friends of mine. <laughs> okay. I guess it's time to go back to the ship. Destination unlock Zepho. So we get to go... Wait, how did we get in here? Wait. Oh, it was through this crack, wasn't it? Use the holotape on the Manti. Search Zepho for ancient tombs. So we need to go to Zepho now. So we need to go and see Seer. 
under a magey little sidekick. So let's quickly... Everything okay, BD1? Oh. Let's quickly save here. And rest. I feel like I'm just going to do that every now and again. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Let's go. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Woo! Oh, great. Okay. Dodge did it work. Okay, so we, we had a couple of abilities to try there. That was pretty nice. We don't get anything from these after we kill them. Oh god, I'm inside him. Watch out, BD. Can we just run all the way across this top section to get there? Seems possible. What's this? Can I throw that down? Nope. I thought my wheels I throw that rope down in case I've got to come back here later. Oh, what's up, BD? Mysterious skeleton. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature. An analysis of elements within the uh, the bones dates them as old as a thousand years. Okay. Well, have you got? Never mind. Can we do anything with this? Nope. Looks like we've got company across here, BD. Actually, no, it's not. It's the little Eevees. Oh, what's this? My friend. It appears the Zepho had some interest in death up here. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hmm. Destination unlocked. Dathomir. Ah, we're back here. So this is ah. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. What the? Oh, is the door closing? Wait a minute. Jump. Hey, yeah, there we go. There's our ship. Over here. What the hell? Big holes. Wait, I don't want to be going down there, do I? I want to stay on this level, right? Or do I have to go that way? Oh, I do. Hold on, BD. Pressing R for some reason instead of E. Okay, let's rest there. Head back to the ship and let's see what Sia has to say regarding BD and Cordovo. Come on, BD. Time to get out of here. I have a feeling we're able to jump back here whenever we want to. Once we've got some new abilities and stuff. Oh, she's already stood there. Come on. Pass the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. No. Oh. She already knew. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Get out of there! 
Get out! <laughs> that is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. <laughs> it stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. I'm getting Guardians of the Galaxy vibes here, you know. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Oh. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look. I like this guy. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir <laughs> Zepho, it's your choice. Interesting. So we get to choose where to go. Take a look. So we've got search Zepho for ancient tombs. Use the hall to main objective player location. So I think we go to that's Dothamir, that's Zepho. Dothamir is what the, the hologram kind of come to, right? So we get to choose here. Obviously, let's go to Zepho. I want to understand a bit more of the story. Wait, we have to get to be in here? What? Oh, this is cool. Love? You? Yeah, you think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're gonna tell me. Let me tell you. It's the best. But a lot of work. It needs admiration, devotion, <laughs> DCBD. <attraction>, and respect. Please. What's that you very insightful? Yeah, well, it comes with experience. <laughs> Can't look this good and not steal a few hearts. <laughs> BD was literally sneaking on top of the consoles and then just reached over and pressed a button. <laughs> trying to be sneaky away from, uh, what's he called? Oh, sit in the cockpit? Oh, sorry. If we sit there, if we want to go. Okay. So, let's see if there's anything else we can do whilst I'm here. What's this? Interact. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? Oh! Have never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. Okay, so we can put some seeds in there. I'm guessing that's what we can use to maybe create the portions and health portions and stuff. That's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Nice, I've already put a seed in there, so you're welcome. might not be the best time to land. Eh, yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple 
old bums ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure <laughs> everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Wait. That's a good question, yeah. actually. Over here. You did good work on Bagano. Thanks. The more information we gather on Cordova and Mazefo, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with Mazefo, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Thanks. I want to customization. Poncho. Can I select that? Yeah, that's selected. BD1. I've got to go with the Bumblebee. Mantis. Let's paint this as well. Wait, where do I... Oh, I've got to do it at the crafting table, right? Where we can change our... Oh. Okay. So we're on this planet. And I think this is a good time for us to end it here and save this for another episode. So remember, if you've enjoyed this, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of this and if you're ready for the next installment on the Jedi Survivor when that comes out on 28th of April. So check out my other content right here. And as always, keep smiling. And I'll see you in another video.